Hi, I'm Sébastien Dupéron and I will present my paper entitled Microbiome Aware Ecotoxicology of Organisms. The microbiome is a new frontier in life sciences. In fact, most organisms associate with various prokaryotes and eukaryotes as well as virus, and together they form a new entity that's named the holobiont, which is a controversial concept. In fact, what this holobiont can achieve is often recognized as being more than the sum of their parts. This holobiont lives inside an environment which may include contaminants, which makes the microbiome a relevant player for ecotoxicology and ecology. In fact, the microbiome is most often located on epithelia, like gut epithelium or skin, which uh, means that it's located at the interface between the host and its environment. As such, it's the first line of defense upon exposure to contaminants, and it may have no effect on contaminants, but it may also sequester, inactivate, or even activate contaminants, leading to changes in adverse outcome pathways. The microbiome also reacts to contaminants. There may be community shifts which are either correlated or even caused by exposure to contaminants, and after some time, there may be some recovery or resilience, leading to a new state that may be dysbiotic for the microbiome and lead to an altered state of the host, which may induce pathology or fitness loss. Interestingly, for one microbiome to be qualified as dysbiotic, there needs to be knowledge on what eubiosis is, which is what are the normal microbiomes of an organism and what are associated functionalities. And this is mandatory if we are to predict anything about pre-exposure states. In fact, general lack of knowledge regarding classical model organisms used in ecotoxicology and their associated microbiomes questions whether they are any relevant to microbiome research. For example, most of them are domesticated organisms and their microbiome tells very little about that of wild relatives. Also, study designs need to account for sex-specific effects, replication, quantification, and of course, availability of tools, which are do omics work and are the databases available. By analogy with the famous statement, it is tempting these days to say that nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of the microbiome. Not even ecotoxicology as the composition and functionalities of the microbiome may change the phenotype of hosts. Because microbiomes may alter and be altered by contaminants, they can be correlated with phenotypic changes on hosts, there needs to be development of a microbiome-aware ecotoxicology of organisms, for which omics are required, because most microorganisms are not culturable, and multi-omics will be the tools of choice of course, specific study designs need to be implemented. If you want any further information, the paper is available at the address below. Thank you.